we're at a barn dance for New Heart Living, and my friends uh, Rob Crothers and Paul Mackerel are playing fiddle and banjo. It's a fundraiser and a dinner. We're just going to do some dances, some play some music just for fun. That's right. I usually start off with a circle dance. Um, gives me a chance to kind of size up the crowd, their their abilities, their knowledge of, you know, do -si do swing your partner, promenade. Square dancing is basically done in squares, circles, or lines. And you join hands and circle to the left and circle to the right, and you swing your partner. There's a, a ballroom swing where you put your arms around your partner, and there's several different types of swings that people use. Promenade is, it just means to walk with your partner. A lot of these terms come from French quadrilles, which were originally marching military drills. What's your name? Karen. Karen, you ready for this? Yep. It ain't that hard. Okay. okay. We're going to go out to the right circle, four hands around. That's four people. Oh. Uh, circle okay. to the left. <laughs> and then you, you pick so? up the gent drops a corner's hand and pick up two more. We're still, still oh, staying we're still here. Sorry, sorry, I did yeah. We're not going to leave you out yet. Okay. I think it's just a good way to get people together, to have a good time, um, to meet new people, and hopefully carry on the tradition. Like I was saying earlier, the traditions have changed. This not it used to be French military drills were quadrilles. They still call them quadrilles up in New England. Um, the Virginia reel came from the um, English country dances, the Irish Cayleys. Irish and Scottish Cayleys and um, even the, the French minuet were done more in lines like a Virginia reel. African American influences uh, made it a little bit livelier than the British and Irish traditions, Scottish traditions. There's even a Seneca version of a Virginia reel that I saw one time, Seneca Indians. But basically this, the dances haven't changed for hundreds of years and I imagine they'll keep going for another hundred years or more. I hope. Traditionally, it's done like this. It's a one, two, three, and 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 a one, two, three, all the way to the bottom. And then we start all over again with the new head cup at the top. Okay, now. Thank you. Give her a big hand. So, that's what I was just going to explain, okay? Any semblance of that works for me, okay? So if you if you want to do a one, two, three, and a one, two, three, and a one, two, three, and a one, two, three, or just la 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 walking down the stairs. Why don't you get to the bottom, okay? You gotta get to the bottom somehow. I work with kids a lot in the schools, and one thing I always tell them, I always ask them, why do you think people do these dances? I mean, they've been doing this, these same dances for hundreds of years. Why are we still doing them? And they say, well, because their teacher made them, <laughs> or because it's traditional. And somebody usually says, because it's fun. I said, 
that's that's the reason people are having fun you know it's, it helps people get to know each other better feel comfortable with other people I remember after September 11th we had our fall frolic a couple weeks later and we were like should we cancel this and, you know everybody's just so shook up and nobody's really gonna come out to dance <laughs> after all this and we decided to go ahead with it and during if we didn't have 200 people show up and everybody was just so glad to get out of the house and get together and see people that they haven't seen since last year sometimes or and get together with people they don't know and just have a good time. Most of the callers I know are getting pretty old. Uh, a lot of the callers that I learned from are gone now. But there's some young ones coming up and there's a lot of good musicians coming up there playing these old time tunes. They sometimes have put a little funky rock and roll kind of, you know, swing to it. But it's the same old tunes and the same feeling to the music and it's got a good steady beat. People love dancing to it. I think it'll keep going. Um, you know, who knows how long. It might be, you know, five or 10 years. It might be 50 or 100 years more. They'll still be doing these dances, who knows? Who'd have, who'd have thought that we'd be doing, you know, French quadrilles, <laughs> you know, two, three, four hundred years later and calling them square dances in this country.